Hello everyone in YouTube land. Just letting you guys know I haven't disappeared. It just took most of the summer to study all kinds of solar applications. If you remember my video, uh, my vision for hydroxy part 1 and 2, I talk about how the best combination with hydroxy would be solar and actually wind also. So I've got tons of solar thermal applications I'm going to be showing in the next few videos. Right now I just want to sh update you on the hydroxy. I haven't touched it much in the summer, but I have a new setup here. I got the VSPB cell in here, one diamond cell here, and that's what's functioning off of our 12 volt circuits. What I've found is that I always said once I was done with the 12 volt circuits, I was going to go to the house voltage 110 volt circuits, and that's what I've got set up here now. You guys probably remember this stupid janitor's tray from my original experiments from years ago. I brought it back out, set it up so that we got the reservoir. Well, first of all, the main thing is I've got the double diamond cell without the middle plate now, so we have 62 plates with 1 8 uh, gaskets in between. And the whole thing is being fed by two wires, as you see. The 110 or 120 volt, whatever you want to call house, house voltage, is being divided by all the neutral plates in the middle. So we're getting the same type of voltage between each plate gap as we would have got on the regular diamond cell. And actually, so actually, it might be even a little bit less. I haven't measured it yet. So anyway, we got the main reservoir going to the bubbler and then out. For the electrical, it's hooked up with just a regular plug-in cord. I got a disconnect box with a 15 amp breaker inside. So you got to flip the switch to start it. You got the power going to a full bridge rectifier. I do not have a capacitor bank on here and the reason is after talking with Scarecrow I realized that with the capacitor bank on here once you shut off the cell it's gonna actually keep feeding power to the cell and as Scarecrow said he found his cell went for three minutes after he shut the power off. I don't want anything like that to happen. So I'm just using the rectifier for now and I'm very happy with the results. I'll show in the next few videos there definitely be showing uh, this cell running and what it can do. I've already done all kinds of experiments with it including this one. I've always said I want to do controlled hydroxy experiments explosions, sorry, controlled hydroxy explosions and see how much force I could get out the end. So I put just two hand valves here just to prove a concept. I want to see if a solenoid valve would be able to open, fill a tube with hydroxy close and then a spark happen and boom we'd get some good force. I'll show you in some other videos what I found, but I'll just show you the setup for now. What I do, try and back off so you can see the whole thing. I've got two ball valves. This one I never actually have to shut for most of the experiments. All I do is put the hydroxy hose here, open the valve, let some hydroxy gas in, shut it off. And I've got here a barbecue spark igniter that's mounted right inside here. And that's all I do is give it a push like that. And you get a spark inside. I'll try and show. It's very hard to pick up on in this dark chamber here, but I'll try and show the spark inside. Let's see if I can get it there. You can probably pick it up right there. Perfect. Anyway, that ignites the gas, and I'm getting some pretty cool explosions out of there. I'll definitely be posting some videos showing that. And, uh,. Once I prove that this concept works, this hand valve will be turned into an electric solenoid valve. So electrically this will open, this will shut. As soon as it shuts, the power will be directed to the spark igniter. Bang! Get your explosion. See how many times you could do that over and over and over. And the main goal will be to turn our Tesla turbine. i got to encase this so that the uh, compressed air, the explosions that come out actually stay within the, the blades. So anyway, you're going to see tons and tons of videos coming through on solar, thermoelectric modules, all kinds of stuff, plus all the hydroxy experiments, so this season of experimenting should be the best yet. So we'll talk to you guys soon.